everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library, and today we are going to make our own little um, shape uh, memory games. So, super easy. You can divide up a piece of paper and then draw shapes. So, two of each shape, and then have your kids color them and um, cut them out after they color them in so, so um this is super easy you don't need anything fancy just a piece of like cardstock you could laminate it or put contact paper on it if you want or you could do it on cardboard so that they're thicker but you can make your memory game it, it, it can be shapes you can do it whatever you want but I want to share some great shape stories so one of my favorite shape story um, is Shape Capers by uh, my friend uh, Catherine Falwell and uh, go figure uh, somebody checked it out today when we did stories um, so I don't have it to share with you but uh, I wanted to tell you about that one I also want to share Shapes Are Fun uh, which is by Katja Spitzer. Uh, Shapes in Animals. Uh, this is a great one. Uh, this one by Mac Barnett and John Clausen is called Square, which is so cute. Uh, Lois Elhart's uh, Color Zoo, which is all about colors and shapes. Um, the Missing Piece Meets the Big O is another great shape story. So I want you to check those out. Um, and there, there are others. But, uh, so what I have done is gone ahead and this keeps shifting uh, the paper on here. So this is so easy to do. And once you, um, once you color, have your children color this, the great thing is that because we have you've drawn them into a grid pattern kids only have to cut a straight line okay so this is great for your younger kids it's great for your older kids it doesn't matter but what they get to do is they literally get to practice their straight lines and then you can put them into a ziploc bag so that they have them uh, to play with and um, they have made their very own personal uh, memory game and it's so fun for kids to make their own uh, their own stuff so this was a great way to do this so I'm just going to, and this is cardstock that I'm doing this on, but you could do it on, um, you could do it on, you know, cardboard or whatever. But I have gone ahead and cut these out. Oops. So that you have them all. And see how simple they don't have to go and try and cut each shape individually out. Um, and even if they don't color, even if it's a super young kiddo who just likes to um, scribble color or whatever, that doesn't matter because it's really about matching the shapes, the picture, not the color. You can do color and shapes, but, um, you know, they, they get to match them up. You can do um, a face up match game like this or you can do a face down memory match game uh, so that they can um, play with that so right there uh, let's see um, so here we go here we go 
Ta-da, ta-da. And they're learning the names of shapes. So right triangle, um, uh, and I, I think it's an isosceles triangle, just a triangle, a rectangle, trapezoid, a star, a diamond, or a rhombus, semicircle, circle, heart, uh, oval, hexagon, and that's it. So have fun creating this really fun thing. You can do it together as a family. You can do it uh, individually so that the kids each have one of their very own. You can use shapes. You could use colors. You could do an alphabet match, animal match, whatever you want. Happy creating. Happy long weekend. It is Labor Day weekend. It is the second day of September. Can you believe it? Uh, yeah, happy reading and have fun playing with shapes. Miss Amy.